hell's fire. She's coming. Well, you've been naughty. And you know what happens when you're naughty. God damn it. Anyone but her. Well, you absolute stinker. You kept me a secret. Hmm. Time to let the Hellcat out of the bag. Call me Mizora. I'm Will's patron, the fount of his power. My pet's been unruly, and his leash needs a yank. We had a deal, Will. But Karlak's still breathing. I've taken more pleasant shits than you, Mizora. And at least those can be buried after. That's no kind of talk for a lady. By the way, Karlak, Zariel sends her regards. <laughs> You told me, devils only. She's a tiefling, not a monster. How precious. The little pupster's found his bark. Clause G, section nine. Target shall be limited to the infernal, the demonic, the heartless, and the soulless. Karlak meets the criteria by virtue of having no heart. Thanks for the reminder. Oil burns in the fires of Avernus. The lightning storms of Dis strike his flesh. His soul passes through each layer of the hells, gaining their essence and their torment. have you done? A promise broken, a price paid. You know the terms. Get used to the new form, pet. There's no going back. Some magic even I can't undo. Now, let's see how the frontiers fare without their precious blade. Karlak, keep an eye on him, would you? I'll be keeping mine on you. Oh, and Will, don't forget, our pact still stands. Ta-ta. I'll be honest, soldier, I'm reeling. Will hardly knows me, but he chose my life over his. Been a long time since someone stuck their neck out for me like that. You can say that again. When he was chasing me through Avernus, I thought he was just another sad merc. How wrong I was. Always a pleasure. Gods damn her straight back to the hells. Just look at me. I did what was right, and Mazora made me pay for it. I'd be hunting devils and demons, she said. Traitors and hypocrites, heartless evils of all sorts, but not... Not Zariel's victims. Not innocent tieflings. All these years... You'd think it's a lesson I'd have well learned. 
It's Mazora who grants me the power to conjure armor and cast eldritch blasts. Before I was infected, I could even call hell beasts and summon festering clouds, but I promise you, every thrust of my blade and every flame I sparked was for the good of the coast. I can't utter the terms or circumstances of the pact. I can tell you most all else, but the pact, I'm forbidden, unless Mazora permits it. But I'll say this, the moment I pacted myself to Mazora, I have not regretted for a heartbeat. It was my proudest deed. It was worth the sacrifice. All I can give you on that is my solemn word. There you are, my friend. <laughs> Are you now? <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep, darling. <laughs> Thankfully, I've had my needs met this evening. I found a bear. He took a little of my blood. I took all of his. You're comparing plonk to vintage wine. You can make merry with either, but they're not the same. But Cazador fed me rats and bugs. And when you're used to drinking from a sewer, even plonk is a marked improvement. I existed. That was enough for him. He reveled in having power over me. Because those with power can do whatever the hell they want. Is it? What good is freedom if I'm always watching the shadows? No. I'll be safe when I'm powerful enough to grind Cazador into the dust. Powerful enough to do whatever the hell I want. <laughs> They're doing a piss poor job then. The strong had two centuries to pluck me from torture. But no one came. No. It was the Mind Flayers that rescued me. They gave me a gift. The strength to take my own freedom. I'm embracing this power. You should too. <laughs> <laughs> 